Hello Aries, welcome. We're going to do a general for you today. Looking at your current energy, desire, outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. We'll clarify all those cards once we've done that. Um, yeah, sorry, we'll clarify that all those cards and then at the end we'll pull three more cards around the read just to make sure we have everything that you may need. Uh, keep in mind it is a general and it may not resonate with everybody. If it doesn't fit, don't force to fit. Keep what resonates and leave the rest. That said, Aries, let's get started. Let's see what's going on for you in your current energy. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's feeling abundant. The Desire. The Ten of Swords. I get that there's something that you want to have end. It's the first time I've actually seen the Ten of Swords come up in that spot. The star shows up in what is working for you, or sorry, in the outcome. So hopes and dreams. The chariot is what's working for you. And what you need to be aware of is the Nine of Cups, so some type of wish fulfillment. But let's go through, let's start to clarify and get a better picture of what is going on for you. Nine of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords, Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Well, this abundant feeling that you're having, or just the abundance that is coming in for you, um, kind of messes with your head with the Eight of Wands here. Because there's a couple of things that are coming in, or have come in. This is the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So some type of new relationship and also some type of commitment. So it's almost like this is a little confusing for you in that, you know, what you were doing before possibly wasn't working and then all of a sudden you're feeling abundant and then all of this starts to happen but nothing really has possibly changed. So interesting. The Ten of Sword is the desire and underneath that we have the Two of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. We have three tens on the table. Uh, but if we're looking at this, with this Ten of Swords, there is an end of a cycle. Maybe something's fallen apart, and you want something to end. You want to begin things anew. Where you just want stuff to be over. And it's possibly that you want a new relationship or you want progress in this relationship. You're tired of feeling the Four of Pentacles, which is having to guard everything, and you're ready to move up into this Ten of Pentacles energy. So it's kind of convoluted in that, yeah, I want. there's things that I want to end. It's like, I want to end relationship I want to end feeling like I have to hold on to everything and I want to end my search for this ten of Pentacles and have it all happen so the star card wow do you have a lot of love showing up there's a lot of love cards showing up for you so in the star card we have the six of swords the eight of cups and the lovers there's these hopes and these dreams that you've had and this is in the outcome. So hopes and dreams are starting to be realized. Things are starting to go smoother. What you've walked away from was beneficial. So maybe you're walking away from this Two of Cups in order to get to these lovers. Uh, you can see that this individual is actually looking this way uh, towards the lovers. So we can see that there's these hopes from this of this like everlasting love um, and this desire to have it. And it's because you sort of had the chutzpah to walk away from something else. The chariot is what's working for you. So the chariot I get is a chosen direction. So you've managed to choose a direction. It was 
don't know if it was a vindictive direction with the Queen of Swords here. I almost get that this was um, an I'll show you type of thing. And then we have the Hermit and the Two of Swords. So you went in and you're like, you know what? I've chosen my direction. I've changed. I'm doing my own thing. I'm following my path. And underneath that, it's like I've got blinders on and I'm not listening. And so it's kind of an interesting thing that is actually working for you. What you need to be aware of, though, is this Nine of Cups energy. This Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment and success. Underneath that, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Hierophant. Now, there could be gifts coming in, a choice that you'll have to make, or a leap of faith, if you will. It's beginning in a new direction. And we have the Hierophant, so higher learning. But I almost get it that it is, uh, Hierophant is actually tied to um, love. Oh my God. And then we have the Knight of Cups showing up. So there's a lot of things going on with love here. Uh, the Five of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Three of Wands. So there's this learning curve that's going on underneath everything where you're learning sort of your strengths and your weaknesses and you're learning to deal better things and people see this going on and then we have the knight of cups that comes in comes in with a love offer and that provides you a different direction in which to look at and i see the back of this individual i think it's actually tied to the eight of cups because this is kind of like walking away um, from a previous direction or it's you're walking in the same direction um, not the same direction you're walking in the same direction as the eight of cups uh, it's really interesting to see sort of how this layout actually takes place where um, whatever partnership that you're in and walking away one that you're walking away from and looking for in another creates this uh, future that you can see that it's like this is what I want now this is not sort of the typical individual that I wanted this is now off into a different direction where I want to be interesting read for you uh, Aries this is definitely a first for me to have uh, this type of layout best of luck this week feel free to give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down uh, if you haven't subscribed already please do so uh, thank you all for being here. We will see you next time. Talk to you soon.